Welcome to our conversation, myself, Bongi Wesselane, with writer, director Lemuhang, Jeremiah Mosese, which will form part of the African, the new, the African Film Festival New York um, program for 2021. Uh, this, of course, is in celebration of the screening of This Is Not a Burial, It's a Resurrection, which forms part of the program this year. Um, my name for everybody watching is Bongi Wesselane. I am a film producer based in South Africa, Johannesburg. And I've known Jeremiah since 2017, I think. 2017, yes. We met um, when we both had projects at the Realness Script mm -hmm. Residency in Johannesburg. Uh, when you first presented Burial, in fact, and I was working with Sam, Samantha Nell on um, her debut feature film. And we also spent time together at the Durban Film Festival. But most notable, um, and I think for me, most celebratory is our time at the Venice Biennale Cinema College. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the first workshop together, which saw Burial being selected as one of the three films that were selected for production in 20. 19. Um, so in actual fact, we're both alumni of the college, which is fantastic. Yes, incredible, <laughs> incredible. It's very incredible. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Jay, when I was asked to do this conversation with you, I, I was a bit nervous because I've never done this before. Um, and we've spent a lot of time talking, but it was mainly film <laughs> and, mm -hmm. uh, and other stuff that we kind of got yeah. to know each other on. Um, it also felt a bit serious, but I couldn't possibly say no, um, you know, besides the fact that I know Mahen and the team and really love the amazing work they do at the um, festival in New York. I'm also an admirer of your work, um, and I really wanted to take this opportunity to catch up with you, chat about film, chat about your work, yourself, and most notably, to really publicly congratulate you on your success. Um, I know that we spent, the last time we saw each other was in Berlin when Mada was presented at the mm -hmm. forum mm -hmm. and also at the college. And then you just got really busy after that. Yeah. <laughs> Making yeah. films, which is beautiful. fantastic, which is really, really, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really happy to see you. I'm happy to see what's happening in your life. And I'm, um, really want to chat to you and just celebrate you and celebrate with you. Um, in you. 40 minutes, yeah. I think we have. Mm -hmm. uh, but also just to give a short introduction to everybody, uh, like a short bio, so I'm going to read it out. Uh, Lemo Hang, Jeremiah Mosese, is a self-taught filmmaker and visual artist from Lesotho, based in Berlin. His film, Mother, I'm Suffocating, This Is My Last Film About You, was selected for Final Cut in Venice in 2018, where it won six awards. It premiered at the Berlinale Forum in 2019. Um, Musese was one of three filmmakers selected for Biennale College Cinema, which is with, with his feature film, This Is Not a Burial, It's a Resurrection. And it premiered at Sundance in 2019 and won the Jury Award for visionary filmmaking. Um, it has gone on to win 20 further awards, including best for eight best film awards and two best director awards. Um, Musese is an alumni of Berlinale Talents, Focus Features Africa First, Realness Africa Script Writing Residency, and Cine Foundation L'Italier in Cannes. Um, so I'm gonna just start off with just congratulating you. There's a lot to celebrate in your life right now. Your birthday on Sunday, the 17th. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, congratulate you on the birth of your first son, your first child. Am I allowed to? <laughs> and also, um, of course, the success of burial. Um, it's worth noting that this is not a burial, it's a resurrection. Is Lesotho's official submission to the 93rd Academy Awards as Best Foreign Language Film. The first film from Lesotho to ever get this honor. So huge congratulations. And I maybe we start off with 
how you feel about that. How does that sink in with you? Mm-hmm. You're very kind, Bongi. You've always been very amazing to me. Um, um, yeah, we've known each other for, it's been quite a, um, a journey now to, um, to that I've known you. Thank you. Um, you know, to be the, f- I don't like the idea of the first, especially when you, it's like, but I know that it's, um, I guess it's very, it's very good for the film to be marketed this way, but I don't find it, I don't find, I don't find joy, I don't find beauty in, in being the first. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like being the first in my cell phone to have a cell phone in <laughs> 2021. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's you know, especially especially with the, the, the whole narrative of you know as a black person, uh, uh, there's always been now and then every year there's always been like, oh the first black guy to do this, or the first yeah. black person to do this. I mean uh, for me, I I I I, I know it, it needs to be celebrated and it, we need to be very proud about it, but I don't necessarily find beauty in it. At least for me, to mm-hmm. I feel like it's sort of overdue and um, and and. It, and and I'm I'm very grateful for of course for for what the film has achieved and and the life that the film has has sort of shown in its own um, uh, it's beyond my comprehension it's um, it's not mine anymore it, it, I don't own its life anymore it has its own life and um, so it's just uh, I'm ju- I'm just in awe. Like you know, like everybody else, just um, on a side road and just fanning it and just championing it and just um, in awe for the life that it has taken um, yeah. beyond our comprehension and beyond our reach and beyond our control. So yeah. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very, um, very happy. Yeah, I think I think for us, obviously, as filmmakers in Africa, it's it's a big deal. You know, it's a, it's such a, it's something for other filmmakers coming on into the industry to look up to. You know, I think for me, what really um, blows me away about it is is your own definition of what African cinema is in the films that you make. You know, the Mm -hmm. boldness, the provocativeness that you approach all your work with is, has always been interested in, in, has always interested me. Um, And maybe I want to talk Firstly, also about your first work. Um, you know, like I, I, I always, I think I've shared this with you that your that the way you share yourself in the work that you do, just always giving a piece of yourself in all that you do, um, and your first films really show that. Um, do you, can you can you maybe talk to us about the first ideas to your films mm. and uh, your approach to them? And, and, and really why you wanted to make specifically mm-hmm. Behemoth and uh, Mother, I'm Suffocating. This is my last film about you. I always strive my utmost to approach work as, as a novice, as a novice, as, a, as an amateur, as, a, as someone who is learning and who's stumbling. I have a, a, a very... Um, a, a huge experience of of, of research, um, whether it's cinema, whether it's philosophy, whether it's theology, whether it's um, um, it's um, it's dark nation itself, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Islam, um, and also whether it's um, it's it's art, whether painting, poetry. So. So I have so much sources because I, I've I've, li- I've studied this uh, on my own, not even uh, from school, but on my own, just doing the research. Mm-hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons why I started sending film to festival very late uh, because most of the time that was not necessarily my interest. The festival was never my interest. Um, or to be in a film sort of a cycle was never my interest. Mm-hmm. I've always been intrigued by ideas. Um, and in, even in, in, in many cases, I would love, I, I actually, I, I, would, I, I would love um, the people's ideas than they actually their work um, or vice versa. I've always been, um, I think, um, retrieving and, 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 and I gravitate towards ideas. 
And um, so my film starts with ideas, with what I believe, um, or maybe what I'm afraid of, or maybe what um, I, I inspire to attain, um, to attain um, in a sense of, of, of maybe psychological place to reach certain place, um, or whether it's spiritual or whether it's psychological. And my film, um, and, and to, of course, it has to do with, with God, and, and whichever way you, you define God. I'm borrowing the word God because I guess it's more universal. Mm-hmm. Or this, our language fails us to describe this thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, um, and my work has, has, has something to do with that. It's some things that I don't understand and that I would like to understand. Um, so, so first of all, I, I'm in Quincida. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very curious. Before a film were made, before anything else, that's by by my nature. That's my nature. Um, um, it, it, my interest in big questions about life, whether it's about death, whether it's about afterlife, or whether it's before the life that we are given, whether it's um, whether it's about human condition, whether it's about um, the good and evil. These are questions that have always riddled me. This is a question that I always, uh, my head has been wrapped around since a very long time. I think since I was young, I remember the first question that I asked my mother was that if when we die, what happens to us wow. um, when we die? And I, I, remember, I remember asking this question and I don't remember so many things from my childhood yeah. and because her answer was something that I find, I, I thought it was interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, our parents and, uh, always have, a, in an African context, <clears throat> our parents always have a way of protecting us from the big picture that we yeah. have a later on. Yeah. Yeah. And also, even the idea of that, it's almost like, oh man, you know, sometimes you want to share these big questions. And for me, like, as I said, it's, it's, it, it, it's my whole research and it's my whole life. Um, it, it's almost like when you bring it now, it's almost like a, a bit of a bummer. It's almost like a bit of a downer to bring heavy questions about life, which I, for me, I find them very, they're very simple, uh, but very deep questions, of course. Um, and so before the, the film, before becoming a filmmaker, for me, I've always been a person of ideas, person of, of uh, interested in belief systems and in belief, interested in convictions. And so the film became natural for me, became a vehicle to translate my ideas or to translate my observations. Um, before, the, before Mother, I'm suffocating, uh, the, I, I have a two feature film that I, I, I've never shown, nobody I've seen them. And these films uh, were for those whose God is dead, I was working on my craft. I wanted to, to work on my craft as a cinematographer um, and see, um, if it's something that I could do, if it's something that I, I'm interested. So I, that's where I learned cinematography. Um, and the other film, which is uh, the um, it was about my ideas, it was it was full of ideas, I was still trying to play with the form and trying to play with the language. And so all these three films, the other one, it's something to do with the crowd and how it affects people psychologically. Um, and um, and all these films, nobody have seen, and they had just been my my apprentice. I, I was I was just a um, apprentice um, in learning cinema. And then with Mother, I, I I it was something that I knew that I now have an idea okay. of what I'm looking at. I have an idea now of my strength and my weaknesses, or even something that I can maybe discover and stumble upon. Um, um, of my talents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, I, we spoke a lot in, um, in Venice when we were there about, you know, your connection to Lesotho, uh, your, your home in a way, um, and, and really wanting to kind of solidify yourself as a, a Lesotho, Mosotho filmmaker uh, and making films there, even though you live in Berlin. Um, can you can you talk more about the importance of that to you? Hmm. 
I think Lesotho for me is uh, um, it's my springboard. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lesotho is is um, it's my canvas. It's my anchor. Mm-hmm. But I don't necessarily make film for Lesotho. Um, I, I I would like to make for uh, for Basutu and other people. Um, and maybe um, maybe black people, maybe black African people, maybe um, black people uh, living in Europe uh, across the world, you know. Uh, and maybe it could spill over to other people, other nations and other cultures which I believe um, it's the only artist that can pigeonhole the work of art. Uh, you know, it's the only artist that can set the boundaries and, and, and set the, the parameters. Um, but, but it has possibility to go beyond, mm-hmm. um, to go beyond the cultural lines, to go beyond the, the racial lines. Um, that's the power of this medium that you know that we're working on, and that yeah, I would like us to just be beyond uh, my own reach, um, and I'm, I'm I'm very grateful to be part of this um, this to be working on this form. That it's it's one of the forms that encompasses all the forms of art, and it has potential to. I I still get a lot of messages. Of people, whether it's from Iran, whether it's from Tunisia, or whether it's from uh, Australia, you know, it's whole different worlds. Um, whether it's uh, it's Canada um, in a Native American community, they literally just write to me how my film speaks to them, wow. and 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 I, I see how much um, this medium, how strong it is, wow. and it's beyond us. It's just okay. beyond Lesotho. It's beyond my little canvas. Yes. You know, it's, um, yeah, it's almost, it, like I said, it's almost like it's not yours anymore. As soon as it leaves your desk, it's not yours anymore. You don't own it. Right. You know? yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm learning every day to let go. And I know I'm saying the word let go, it's, a, it's a simple, like um, it's very simple. But the, the, to let go and acknowledge its own life beyond you, that you just happens to be a vessel at that very moment. You just happens to be in an exit. You just happens to be a steward. And that's all you were, that's all I was. Nothing more, I wasn't a creator. And I'm learning to, to let go um, um, in this way. There's so many things in the resurrection that I felt like I could have changed, that I felt like, um, this could have translated the true idea, this could have translated the true form or language, um, especially with the editing that I had to get rid of so many material. Yeah. And I'm still attached to this and it, it's wrong. The artist should not be attached to this work when it's already beyond, when it's already left your desk. It's, 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 um, it, it's, it's transgressions. It's transgressions that we commit um, that we always holding on to this work as if we own it. And um, yeah, it's, you still feel like, you still feel like even when you watch it on the screen, you still want to judge it, you still judge it. And it's not, it's not yours anymore to, to do this. Um, and I'm learning to, to sort of let go and, and let it, you know, um, take its course and not try to always feel like, oh, I could have done this way. I could have fixed it this way, you know? Yeah. No, it's, it's interesting you, you, you say that because, I mean, I think, you know, the way that it's being received um, in a way that, the, the, you know, you talk about getting messages from different parts of the world, um, parts of the world that you never even thought would have kind of, receive that film the way um, they have. I think yeah. it's, it's just testament to just your, your, your work and your I suppose, mm. the amazing work you did, your brilliance in a way. Mm. I saw a, a very beautiful article. It was a Spanish newspaper 
it's very famous newspaper and it's a um, it's a very old school one of those old school that parents love you know this uh, it's forever there newspaper and uh, this newspaper uh, they were talking about a resurrection as a sort of a defiling or, or against capitalism which because it's a very left wing newspaper and uh, which i loved i loved it but i wasn't i'm not against capitalism i i i I don't think there is independent art. Um, yeah. I think that um, machine can function. I think uh, in, in healthy together. Um, I cannot love the other and critique the other. Well, I can, but I try to find them as as just one coin. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the head and the tail. Um, I want to embrace them both. Yeah. And I feel like, but I like the fact that people can actually weaponize my work. They can use it um, as something that sort of attacking capitalism. That it's not it's not what I intended. But if 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 people translate in that way, mm-hmm. let it be. That's it. That's the way. That's the way. Yeah. So that it it has its own ideas. It branches out its own. Um, um, yeah, in, in its own way um, beyond artist. Everybody beyond will receive person. it yeah. the way they want to receive it. Yeah. Well, yeah. So um, I want to talk about the idea for burial. Uh, I want to talk about its birth um, and um, ultimately the development process and uh, the realization. I mean, I think it's kind of really placed you in this <coughs> space of uh, one of the most striking and original voices in world cinema at the moment. Um, and I think you've given an identity also to African cinema that is quite progressive, I want to say. Perhaps I use that word for lack of a better one. But just giving African cinema a, a, a kind of accessibility mm-hmm. that it had and maybe just a new, a new, yeah, a new identity. And it's very exciting, I think, for, for upcoming filmmakers and to see that, that we can achieve that. Um, and so I want to kind of dig deep into the idea for burial. Where, where, how did you come up with the idea? And then maybe we can talk about its development process and then we'll move into mm. how it was mm. ultimately realized. Mm. You know, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very thankful that my, my film could sort of serve as a, as a doorway to to some people who don't have uh, idea about um, African cinemas or African films, um, which I've, I've I've got a lot of special requests where I was curating films in museums, and then uh, people that didn't know that cinema exist, um, and of course people have been praising Resurrection, and I I am very thankful that the film can, yeah people can know about the great uh, Gabriel Mambetti, yes. uh, can know about the uh, uh, Highness, can know about all these um, beautiful films um, that are create really amazing cinema. Um, so I, I am always so happy when people, because of my film, they found out, uh, because there's some journalists who can write about uh, another great director and then say, maybe I come with the same, uh, in, in the same wave of maybe Mambetsu or whoever, and, and then they know about this person. Uh, I'm, I'm just even to imagine in the same sentence about this create artist. It's, yeah. um, I'm very thankful. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's, it's great. But of course, it's still a tragedy that, now people still don't know about who the great Mambetti is, <laughs> you know. So it, it's still a bit of a tragedy. Um, and there's no excuse not to know, actually. Yeah. Um, um, so uh, with the resurrection, um, I think I was, at, at that time, I, I've, I mean, I, I've always been wanting to make a film about the, about the, um, about the about the beauty of 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 God and also the the also the the ugliness of of God and um, and I had this image with this elderly woman um, who can actually translate this and 
because it's somehow it's about her struggle with with God. It's literally the film about the beginning film. The beginning idea was about the older woman versus God or versus nature. Um, so this was the the real the core the core thing that I was more interested in. Um, the, the, the the you know the indifference of God and 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 against someone who is aware of his indifference and wants to remind God of his indifference. So this is, was the beginning of, of, of my story. And then I sort of to sort of morphed into into sort of a um um into into sort of a woman who wants to you know who wants to bury a family at the local cemetery, but now the cemetery is going to be flooded. Um, it merge, it merges with what's politically is going on uh, in Lesotho um, right now, where the farmers and 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 and, and people living in the in the highlands they are being resettled in the outskirts of the city where they cannot keep the livestock or even do uh, or do the farming work that they depend on their livelihood is dependent on the farming but now they cannot do it anymore and how they connect to the soil how they connect to nature how they connect how they coexist and how they you know they bury the umbilical cords they bury their placentas on this ground it's 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 more than it's more than place, it's identity. And how some people, I was talking to some people about this resettlement, and many people will actually associate the resettlement as, uh, as a sort of a, as death, like almost loss of identity yeah. compared, almost they compared to death. And this was very interesting for me because I wanted to interrogate also the metaphorical death um, and, and the actual death and also a rebirth and life. So my film, it's meditation on ideas, on many ideas. Um, so it's really many ideas. Yeah. And, and how did the development process of the film kind of help bring together those ideas to what you, you finally ended up? Mm. I mean, you know, I was very lucky. I was very lucky that I got um, I got into realness uh, screenwriting residency, and where where I I was with the very talented people, and and, and that we can sort of workshop the script together. And then um, they helped me with um, with really finding my voice and finding um, my language. Um, and also uh, was the Biennale College, um, very amazing, amazing, amazing um, college. Really, I, I recommend it to everyone. Um, and also to be around these people who advise us and who are so good, who are so talented in their own um, fields um, of cinema. And um, so this sort of helped me, give me a bit of confidence to really... Uh, to keep going, and and for me, I think what, the, what they did was to to encourage me more and more to be me. Um, there, there was nothing that changed that much in 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 in, in the story itself. Um, I, when I came to Realness, it was more or less the same story, and when I came to Biennale College, it was same more or less the same story. But they, but they they all brought such a Realness brought something very beautiful to have this community of filmmakers and and to have this amazing um, uh, consultants who are working with us and very patient. But they inform me my voice. They affirm me of my voice. Yes. And Biennale College did the same thing. They affirm me of my voice. It's man, you you need to. Just be you. Just, just be yourself. Yeah. And this, it really helped me um, to have uh, this confidence in your ideas. Um, so I guess that's how it sort of uh, it happened. And what I liked about, I think I would have lost a, a, a zeal um, if maybe I would have gone to a traditional way of raising money. That because we had a choice whether, of course, you were also part of this. Um, um, where we had a choice, we had to make a choice whether to go for Biennale College, which means that I will shoot a film within a year, yes. or it will take it less than a year if we get the money, <laughs> or we go the, the traditional way, which might take two years. And I have so many ideas every day. Literally, I, I, I have so many ideas to make script. I, I don't want to wait. Yes. 
Like I really don't want to wait for two years or three years to 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 wait for money. I I, I just cannot um, wait. Um, and not that I I I I I I I I I mean I come from really nothing, and um, and I've learned to do things without even waiting for money. All my work um, prior was work that well I I, I still got a small funds there and there, but most work were actually done just. I felt like I have an idea. I feel like I have an urge, and then I go and do it. Um, and that's how I, I, I learned, and that's how I, I'm, I'm, I'm working. Even up to this day, I still do that. So I have at times now. I'm being smart about it to like start first with, like write multiple things at the same time. Where I know this one might take me two years, maybe maybe, maybe more. But I have another one that is very immediate. If I get money now, I, I do it. If I get an opportunity now, I do it. You know. So in this way, I think this is how I wanna, you know, do keep working, not right. keep working. Right. So this being another college was very important that it, it gave me um, an opportunity to like if we get them with money or if we get selected, the final round, well, that means we can premiere in, in Venice. We can have money. So this was beautiful. <laughs> this was beautiful. Yeah. This was very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And, and what was it like shooting in Lesotho? I know it can be technically challenging um, and there's not a lot of films that are made there. Um, what was it, what was your approach to, to working there and going back to shoot in Lesotho? Oh, uh, I mean, it, for me, it was beautiful. For me, it was beautiful. I know the crew were like, um, <laughs> <laughs> they're not used to um, they're not used to the conditions uh, they're used to you know nine to five work and and, and everything is smooth and everything is going smooth but Great just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I listen to you though there's no infrastructure so what is the beauty about it but of course it's um, It's a high time we have structure. It's a high time we have infrastructure. Uh, it's important for, for you know, for my generation. Uh, this generation is a bit different. You know, um, they would like to be comfortable. They would like that comfort, and which is beautiful to have to want your comfort. And I feel like um, it's things are getting better that we are building. We are building up. Uh, but for me, it was it was a thrill. It was a thrill, you know. Not that I, I not that I, I, I feed off chaos, no. But I feed on, on on there's something beautiful about it. It's almost like a travailing. It's almost like wrestling with angels, uh, um, and it's just so beautiful. It yeah. um, like I remember when we were wrapping up, I, I had a down a bit. Everyone was so relieved. Like everyone was like, "Oh, relieved." But I also understand that. People are not, uh, uh, you know, they, they, they are working for you. So, so for them, they don't necessarily even see. Okay, if it, if it continues this film, that's up to you. We have done my job. My my job is done. I'm off. Yeah. And it, it took me a long time to realize this is how people work. Yeah, they're not as interested as you are. No, and yeah. it took a long time to realize. No, I mean they they are just high at hand. Um, you know, they don't. They they're not following up on this. Yeah, that would be luck if maybe. It, it, it's it's mentioned after this, but our job is done. And but there were a lovely team of people that Kate brought. There were lovely, amazing human being that worked so hard. Um, and I mean, this movie wouldn't have been it wouldn't have happened without the community also of it is Zulu uh, in, in, in Dikin Zulu. It's so crazy that it's an African name. That is a Zulu name in a small village in Lesotho. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Yeah, in in the, uh, uh, in the Zulu is the place where we shot the film. In this, oh, Hadigizu, <laughs> Hadigizu, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's just crazy that it's actually a Zulu um, name, but nobody yeah. speaks Zulu there. So, yeah. but these people are just lovely people. They're just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful human beings that I'm very indebted to them. And Mary, you know, Mary the soldier. Yeah, I wanted to ask you that. Like, what was it like? I mean, you had some of South Africans acting doyans, uh, Dr. Jeremy Fukeng and Mama Mary Twala, the late Mary Twala. Um, what was it like working with them? Yeah, it was really beautiful. They were very generous. Um, they were very kind. They were very, very, very kind. I, they really allowed me 
um, they really, yeah, they gave me their voices, they gave me their ears and, and their hands. Um, they switched out with Mary. Mary was, I mean, and that, of course, you know, her health was already not at, at best at that time. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and there will be times when the wind will come and just blow her off. And she then so crew cool. run or run, try to help her. And then she'd be like, no, no, no I'm okay. Oh. You know, this, you know, so she really surrendered to this film. She really surrendered to this film. And um, of course, we had a little bit of, of, of challenges and there was a decision to make because uh, Sisutu is very strong. Like Sisutu from Lesotho, it's a, it's a very, I think it's the most poetic language. Absolutely. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah. yeah, and I don't say this in my language, um, but it's it's a very it's a very also to say it. It's not that easy if you don't speak it. Um, well, it's easy, but if you if you maybe have, have heard before, uh, mm. so Africa and Sutu, it's not. I, I don't find it interesting. There's they, they yeah. something I, I find it very dry. Um, but uh, but our language is the one that I like most. So 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 Mary speaks South African language. So the idea was to get her speak with my dialect, with our dialect, and with our really the way we we emphasize words. So this was a bit of a challenge, but it, it took us a time to find a common ground to sort of okay, I, 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 at least this would be enough for me and. To be like okay, this is enough for me. So we we had to uh, to find a, a common place, and it took us some time. But eventually, we got a rhythm, and then it became beautiful. Yeah. Um, and Jerry, of course, Jerry is uh, he's, just, he's, he's there. <laughs> so he we didn't have any. Um, uh, there was not much to because she has Sutra is already on point. It's very yeah. on point. Uh, he's very, 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 very elegant uh, actor. He's a very yeah. elegant actor, and uh, he was very generous. And Silas and Zerko, um, Mahal, oh, yeah. everybody, yeah. Huey, everybody was just incredible. Yeah, it was, a, it was a beautiful cast. I mean, I see, I saw uh, Jerry at the screening at the Joburg Film Festival, and he's so proud of you, and he's so like I think. You know, to be at that age and say and say this is my best work, which is which is wonderful. You know, yeah, it's, it's really yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted to, uh, I don't know if this is kind of. I think we've kind of even touched about it. The the collaboration process with uh, with with Uruku and Realness and the Cinema College and. What was that like? I mean, do you do you be like sometimes these? I mean, I, I think as a producer, I know that often, you know, we 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 are accused of sometimes taking away from the director's vision, um, and 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 it's wonderful to to have had you say that you recommend these platforms because as long as they don't take away from your idea but it really helped mold the film in a way mm -hmm. with you, of course. Um, but I mean, ultimately, is it something that you would do again or recommend for other filmmakers, you know, emerging filmmakers to, to look into these platforms of um, 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 residencies and, yeah, I don't know if I'm making... Yeah, I think they are very good. I think people should, people should do it because, um, you know, just only getting... Um, help um, from people who are, who are better, mm -hmm. who are better than you. Um, but you also have a community of other artists. You have a, a community of other creators who are doing the same thing, who are writing and who are rewriting and who want to talk about films. And I feel like this is, it's, it's, it's really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, for me, I didn't go to film school and um, I learned cinema with these communities. Um, and talk about cinema and, and, and all this, whether it's philosophy, whether it's literature. It's these communities that you create and that are very good. And most of them are my friends. We are still friends with yeah. all the residency that I've been part of. We're still very much friends. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's like, it's a community, you know? It's, it's, absolutely. 
Yeah. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's it's it's, it's uh, and also so also it's uh, I think it's um, it's nice that people can talk about you or can talk about the work um, based on associations that comes from this re- you know residencies, you know that you're not a stranger anymore. Mm-hmm. You apply to the festival, you know, you know it's it's a, it's a small community, you know, it's a small community. The yeah. cinema is a very small community, so everybody knows everybody. <laughs> so it's nice to to sort of. Uh, you know, uh, um, people be aware of who you are and um, they know who you are and they've heard of you, they've heard about your project. So it's, it, it, it helps, it helps. Um, and then I, I think just to, to close off, or maybe not to close off, it might take a bit. I wanted to ask what the future looks like for Jeremiah, um, perhaps an insight into your next project or... So. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just to give us, to entice us. Mm. I, I, I got very um, uh, privileged to be uh, commissioned by, um, by Rotterdam uh, Film Festival to with, in conjunction with the Eye Museum. Oh, nice. Um, so to do the video installation um, with other few artists, um, I think. Uh, Wonderful. A few other People, I think it's like five of us. So um, we, the work is premiering. Or it was supposed to premiere on the thirtieth of January, but now they decided to postpone it to I think the tenth of February. So I'll be premiering there, okay. and I'm very excited about this work because it's a, it's, it's like where I found completing the works that I've been doing. Um, and starting a new chapter of the work. And it has something to do with the maybe seeing, it has something to do with the touch, it has something to do with sewing, something to do with stitching, something to do with messy and or grace, or something to do with the healing, this work. And um, I'm very excited about it. It's a video installation and um, uh, there's a part of it also uh, that I got also um, an opportunity to do um, uh, another another chapter of this work um, um, at this museum here in a in, in a Hubert Forum museum uh, the museum or the Palace of the, of, of Berlin. Um, so I'll be doing this work that run parallel. Um, they are still to do with this grand idea of of seeing you know, of touch of of molding of sculpturing. Um, so uh, I'm excited for this work. So yeah, I mean, I'm writing a few things. Um, we'll see how it goes. Great stuff. Great. Thank yeah. you so much, Jerry. I, I okay. really appreciate the time. Um, thank you to the, the team at the Africa Film Festival in New York. Yes, they're very kind. Opportunity to chat to you. Yes, 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 wow. yes. I, I would like to also extend uh, my, my gratitude to, to them. Um, they're very, they're very, very, very awesome people. They're very kind, and thank you guys for having us. Yeah, and yeah. for having the film, uh, yeah, be screened there. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. Congratulations from me personally. I really am super proud of you. Uh, I'm rooting for you, and I can't wait to well see you again when the world opens up again. Hopefully mm-hmm. soon. Mm-hmm. It's quite uh, crazy. Um, it is. And, and to see your beautiful son someday. Mm-hmm. I'm sad I can't come to Berlin this year, but we will meet again, I'm sure. We will. We will definitely meet again, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Think, Thank you. Um, I had fun, actually. I was a bit nervous, but it was quite fun. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I think I enjoyed it very much. So it was very, I mean, we, we have spoken before. We had yeah. many conversations before. So. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much, Jeremiah. No, thank you. We'll chat soon, hey? Talk soon. Bye. Okay. All the best. Bye-bye.